If you live in an area with major temperature changes or if you want to save money on your heating and cooling bills, having your steel building insulated is a good idea. Insulation will help your building retain heat in the winter and stay cooler in the summer by creating a barrier in the roof and walls that helps keep moisture and condensation out by reducing conduction. Condensation is created when warm air inside the building comes into contact with a cold surface, like the roof or wall panels. This mixture of temperatures causes the water vapor in the air to condense, but insulation prevents this event. Moisture and condensation are one of the biggest threats to a steel building, and if it's allowed to build up, eventually rust can form. If rust is allowed to collect in your building, especially around the connections including screws and bolts, it can severely compromise your building's structural integrity. At the very least, the roof should be insulated, though we strongly recommend insulation throughout the building. There are four types of insulation, bat, foam board, insulated panels, and spray foam. Each provides an elevated R value as you increase its thickness. Vinyl-backed bat insulation is the most common barrier used in metal buildings, followed by foam board and then insulated panels like you see on this car detailing building. Spray foam is not accepted industry-wide and not recommended because the foam can trap moisture within the area it has been sprayed and has no permeance level like vinyl-backed fiberglass insulation. Insulation is only one of hundreds of available accessories and components available. Let's take a look at some of the most popular ways to improve the functionality of a steel building.